The main event, uh, Punk Tari versus Tyson Harrison. Tyson Harrison, I've been trying to get everybody to watch him because he's just been... His last few fights are just pure chaos. I think we watched one of them on here. Uh, yeah, we did. Versus... I, uh, I don't remember who it was, but that's where I first started watching who was it? Harrison. I who it was. Yeah. Um, but regardless, it was a great fight. Every time he fights, it's just... It's crazy. Uh, he's like the prodigy of uh, John Wayne Parr. And... Uh, Pong Sari has, has like gone up and down in one championship. But you could tell by the guys he's faced or at least been matched up with, um, they clearly think very highly of him, you know? Um, yeah. And this was, I was telling people, I was like, this is the biggest test so far for Tyson Harrison. Um, if he can get through this one, he's probably, his next fight will be on a prime card. Um, I, I actually reached out to, um, Shout out Ty for one FC, but or one championship. I messaged him after Tyson's last fight, and I was like, "Dude, get this guy on the prime card." And he's like, "He's very close." And I was like, "Oh, one more, let's go." <laughs> and he fell short. But it's all right. In my man. opinion, nobody's stock goes down in this fight. What did you think of it? Oh, dude, I freaking loved it. Uh, so Pong Sari coming in right, and right away I noticed the size difference. Yeah, and, and you know, in that first round, Harrison was throwing bombs right away. Dude. The first couple of seconds, he was like, we're going to war. <laughs> yeah, right away. But, yeah. you know, in the second round, Pong Sari made the adjustment, took mm -hmm. away that range, and pressured nonstop. Yeah. So even with that uh, reach advantage, even with that height advantage, Pong Sari being right in his face, you know, he caught, he started closing that gap, man. You know, and uh, yeah, the elbows. Oh, my God. That's one of my favorite things about watching the Muay Thai with mm -hmm. the uh, – the MMA gloves. The four gloves, yeah. Oh my god, so much fun! And Muay Thai fighters are just so creative with their striking. Yeah, they come at you from so many different angles. And one of the things that I absolutely love uh, from both Harrison and Pung Sri, and really it's been everybody that I've started watching here in Muay Thai, is their ability mm. to still continue, you know, piecing together combos from weird angles. And yeah. throwing body kicks, leg kicks, finishing up with those powerful kicks after a two punch combo, dude, mm -hmm. just so much violence, nonstop. Yeah. Uh, Blunderbub says Punk Sari was pushing him like Harrison was the one who was a foot shorter. Hundred yeah. percent. So we 100%. have uh, look at this. I mean, this is just highlights, right? But oh, like the body beautiful. kick from Harrison and the body shots from Punk Sari, that was a big one too. When he would get close, he starts throwing to the body. Um, but I mean, like, look how like look at that the jumping tomahawk elbow, you know, the left hook to the body from Pong Sari, the uppercut. Ooh, the like uppercut. he was he was doing so well at fighting, like fighting in the right range, you know. Um, it, dude, can we say the excitement from the fans mm -hmm. with oh, every God. elbow that was thrown, with every punch that was landed, with every knee yeah. to the body? It, okay, what has a better crowd? Uh, Lumpini Boxing Stadium, mm -hmm. right? Watching Muay Thai. Uh, let's say maybe like, I don't know, Manchester United. Soccer with all the chanting. <laughs> good, yeah. World Cup. You know, like mm -hmm. what, what has the, the best crowd? It's tough to beat Lumpini, man. It really is. Especially like when they have like a home crowd guy fighting, you know? Oh. Because like you said, every time, yeah, Flunderbub says Lumpini crowds are feral. I love it. Every time there's For a sure. strike landed. It's just oh, a big pop. Oh, and yeah. Oh, over and, like, and over again. Yeah. It got me excited we... <laughs> with every like punch and every single strike. Well, that's the thing. Like, like showing the clips on here, like we're, we don't really know if we can show share audio, right? We're always skeptical of, of screen sharing things because of getting copyrights nice. and stuff like that. They're but nice, dude. We're skating it's on the It's the nice. But, <laughs> but the crowd adds so much excitement to it where even just like a regular combo, you're like, Ooh, that was crazy. Yeah. And it's like, well, it's just a regular combo. But then, <laughs> but then every once in a while when they just, they just go toe to toe, they're standing in front of each other, just blow for blow, you know, like it really gets crazy, especially with the crowd. Let me ask you this. Cause you've been watching Muay Thai a lot longer than I have. Right. Mm -hmm. How much do the uh, dumps count? So when they're throwing combos, uh, Harrison ending with like a, a T kick up the, the middle and yeah. he gets caught and he dumps them, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Pong Sri dumps them. How, how much does that count towards the score? Uh, not, not much. Not much. Not much. It is, okay. It's like, um, 
you know, in like MMA, at least in the unified rules, they'll say like um, octagon control is like the last thing to score, you know? Mm. Yeah, um, yeah. It's kind of like that. It's not like, because it's not necessarily like an effective, you're not doing damage. That's obviously number one. Um, it's all, it's more of just like a, Hey, dude, if somebody influence. dropped me, my hip would probably be done. So the damage is well, like, yeah. <laughs> the damage is yeah, yeah. Somebody just dumped me. I'm but done. it's more like uh it's like more like showing the judges and everybody that like, hey, I'm the one dominating in here. It's not gonna yeah. do anything to sway, really, unless it's like razor close and you keep dumping the guy, maybe. But it's really just like a like look, I'm I'm the one that's in here controlling things. Um yeah, yeah. And it's probably more disheartening than anything as the other fighter if you just keep getting tripped and dumped, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Um we can show like look this is the uh another combo. Um from, and by the uh, way, anybody that's listening uh, through like Apple Podcasts or any of the other, you know, uh, streaming services, I uh, highly recommend that you join us on Spotify or YouTube so you can actually see the footage as we're talking about. It also makes it a lot more fun. Yeah, yeah. So so this was was after the fight. Look at these, the body shot to the head from Pong Sari. And Ooh. then the elbow, like, come on. Wow, well, yeah. And, and there's the, the, the dump we were talking about. about. Yeah, yeah. Look at yeah, the shot. I can see how that could be disheartening. Yeah. Right to the body. Ooh. Left hook up top. And then the oh, right yeah. elbow coming in. Here it is. Ah, Boom. Beautiful on, combos. Man. And the elbow hey, from Tyson also, Harrison. With that crowd in Lumpini, <laughs> how can the fighters not be excited too? Because at the end of every single round, they looked mm. so pumped, man, to be fighting it's each jazzed. other. Yeah. And then at the end of the first, Ponce still They're throwing hugging. blows. Yeah. Is no but punk three still throwing blows, and then the ref has to step in and be like, dude, dude, the the you know, round's over. And even yeah. after that, like they still went and hugged and they're like, dude, that was that was smiling. That was good. <laughs> hey, nice late shots. Yeah, <laughs> you know, nice late all, shots. all excited. There's two dudes so going much to war, fun, man. So much fun. Two dudes going to war. I know, and I, I'm so glad I watched that fight. Anytime, yeah, it's a really like, good one. I, that's probably the only the third Harrison fight I've watched, but every mm -hmm. single one's been a banger. I mean, the guy is it's just pure violence. I mean, at this point, you could say, right, win or lose, it's still going to be a sick fight. Must you know? watch TV. <laughs> Must watch TV. 100%. Dude, and and they have we'll we'll talk about it at the end of the at the end of the show, but they have a couple this one one of the upcoming ones, I think it's 23 or 22 or something like that, Friday fights, it's it's getting real stacked. Like real real stacked. TV uh, has to start watching on a regular basis. Yeah, it's on YouTube, you know? It's just free on YouTube. Dang. Just watch. YouTube's free, um, dude. <laughs> Blunderbubs, yeah, Blunderbubs says there's a decibel level where you can't even hear Mitch and Gianni are talking about. Yeah, sometimes the commentary, they're like screaming for their lives trying to get <laughs> trying to get on the broadcast because it's so loud. I love it. I Who love was, was that. it Mitch that was, that was pointing out Pong Sri that he, he has a catcher's mitt for a face? <laughs> He's, I was like, "What? That is such a good line." And that was right after Harrison landed a straight right down the middle, yeah. and he just ate it. And He's like, "He has a catcher's mitt for a face." That punk three, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so good. Man. Like somebody would say, "So good." <laughs> All right, man. Do we have anything else on that fight? Uh, no. If anybody didn't watch it, watch it. It's on Go YouTube. It the link's sure. in the description. But watch it after this. Don't oh, don't leave this banger, <laughs> straight banger. If you like violence, if you like technical striking, if you like. Rock'em, sock'em robots. This is it. Go yeah. watch that fight. Go watch all that right. fight. Uh, yeah, one. so we're going to we're not going to cover all the fights because it's been a busy weekend despite there not being a UFC. Usually it's busy because it's like, all right, you got to watch one on Friday. You got to watch UFC on Saturday. Get everything prepped for the show on Sunday. Not so much this time, but still a busy weekend. <laughs> this time it was left. life. This yeah. time it was life. Work, I'm actually – Sports. Uh, I'm actually on call right now, by the way. You're on call? <laughs> I'm on call. If if a client calls and they need something, I have to They're, they're going to learn about right. Harrison in the background and Pong Sri. I said, I said, I was like, hey, like, dude, I just need my network fix. I don't need to hear about Harrison, you know? I was like, man, it's going to be tough being on call because there's a new thing with work being on call for the weekends. And I'm like, man, it's going to be tough to do this. Uh, and they're like, well, it's not every weekend. It rotates. And I'm like, yeah, but I'm busy every weekend. So, like, <laughs> it's going to be tough. And I was like, look, if somebody reaches out, if someone needs help on a Sunday morning, like I'm not getting to them until like noon. And I was like, maybe if they jump on the live stream and they put the ticket in on the chat, maybe I'll see it. But otherwise, I'm not looking at my phone until That's like hilarious, noon. man. But exact same thing with my team. Like uh, I want to say it was two weeks ago, somebody tried calling me while we were on the pod and I, mm -hmm. I can't answer, right? So I called him afterwards. I was like, yo, I'm available 
24-6. Yeah. 23-6. <laughs> Hey everybody, Romero and Will here. Thank you so much for watching that short clip. It's just a small clip of what we covered this last Sunday. Yeah, if you want to check out the full fight card recap, uh, the link is in the description and it's going to be on screen at the end here. Uh, don't forget to go back and watch our fighter interviews that we have. Uh, and don't forget to tune in live every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and you can join in on the fun. Yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, Hit the notification bell, goes a long way. All right, everybody, thanks for watching that short clip from Story of the Fight.